So now that you're comfortable manipulating individual shapes, let's learn how to take multiple shapes and combine them into one object. This is going to take our designs to the next level and make them a little bit more complicated. Let's get into it. So to combine shapes into one object, we'll first need multiple shapes on our work plane. For this example, I've brought out a cube and a sphere, but this will work for any of the shapes on the side. So to combine these two shapes into one object, we first need to select them both. There are multiple ways to select two objects. The first way would be to click on one, hold down the shift key, and click on the other. An alternative way of selecting both would be to hold down left click outside of the shapes and drag over both of the shapes. Anything inside the box will be selected once left click has been released. Once you have both shapes selected, to combine into one object, we're going to use a button in the top right corner called the group button. This is the button that looks like a square and a circle combined. Once we click on that button, you'll notice that the sphere has changed to the same color as the cube. This is because Tinkercad now views these two shapes as one object. So if I were to select, I can manipulate these two shapes as one object. To ungroup an object back into its original shapes, we select the object and then click on the ungroup button, which is the circle and square separated. And now these shapes are back to their original form. And to combine them again, I'm going to drag, select the objects, and group. So now take a few minutes to drag some shapes out and group them and see what kind of funky designs you can make.